Our GMA cover story as we learn more about Anthony Bourdain's death. Kate Spade's father is speaking out about their family's tragic loss. And new numbers out from the CDC show a dramatic increase in the number of Americans dying by suicide. ABC's Deborah Roberts is here with more on this growing mental health crisis. Deborah, good morning. Good morning, Paula. So many reeling from another shocking death. This time, as you say, CNN's Anthony Bourdain reportedly a suicide on the heels of the death of Kate Spade. Well, for so long, there has been caution around public discussion of suicide. Some medical experts fearing that it can lead to a contagion, sort of, uh, the tragic growing problem getting even worse. But today, Kate Spade's father, as you say, is speaking out, trying to help those who are vulnerable. As they grapple with the despair, the why and how, Kate Spade's family seems determined to make her sudden and inexplicable death a teachable moment for others hurting. Spade's father, in his grief, telling the Kansas City Star, one thing we feel is that any talk that they do that helps somebody else, Katie would have liked that. She was always giving and charitable. If that helped anybody avoid anything, fine, she'd be delighted. Kate's husband of 24 years, Andrew, confirming that his wife was battling depression and anxiety for years. But fashion observers realize she wasn't alone. In 2014, designer Lorenz Scott also took her life. Reportedly, she too was battling depression. Experts saying it's time for a serious discussion about mental illness and the toll it takes, particularly on women. Depression has been called the invisible disease because there's not an x-ray we can do. There's not a blood test we can do. And so it is so prevalent and yet still so under-recognized. Suicide rates among women due to emotional distress is on the rise. According to a brand new report from the CDC released just Thursday, women with mental health issues such as depression or anxiety were nearly twice as likely to resort to taking their own lives. And though the report cites many factors, relationship problems ranked most often at 42 percent. Feelings of isolation, abandonment and guilt are big drivers of suicide. And that's why it's so important to diagnose it early and to treat it. An urgent conversation moving out of the shadows this morning. CDC experts cautioning that suicide isn't strictly a mental health issue since half of those who take their lives hadn't been diagnosed. So the big warning, if you know someone who has recently had a big or traumatic change in their life or appears to be feeling isolated, begin a conversation. Help them find support. As the Spades family suggests, let her tragedy help save lives. Paula? All right, Deborah, thank you. And psychologist Dr. Jennifer Hartstein joins us right now. And Jennifer, we just saw those numbers from mm -hmm. the CDC. This is a crisis. They're calling their own data disturbing, yeah. but we know the rates have climbed dramatically. More suicides in 2016 than car accidents and homicides. And now in light of Kate Spade, we know it disproportionately affects middle-aged women, mm -hmm. but now with the news of Anthony Bourdain, suicide is affecting everyone. It, suicide affects everybody across the board. And we know that men historically have three times as many completed suicides as women. Women attempt more, but men tend to complete more. Most of the time that's because of the lethality of their means. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, is that 45,000 people died by suicide in the in 2016, which is a lot. It's like one every 10 minutes or something. So in the United States, it's the 10th leading cause of death more than homicide, more than other things. It is a crisis. It's something I'm so glad we're being able to talk about it in light of these tragedies because we need to address the stigma and really open this conversation so people don't feel the shame about it and can ask for help. Right. And, and we in the media, we need to be mindful of how we are covering yes. suicides. We saw after Robin Williams suicide, uh, rates went up 10 percent. We know Kate Spade reportedly was infatuated with his suicide mm -hmm. as well. So how can we be mindful as members of the media and how we are covering suicide? because there's something known as suicide contagion, some, as Deborah mentioned. Right, so suicide contagion is something we have to worry about. And, and historically, we've looked at this with young people, with teens in a neighborhood. You know, if there's a suicide in a school, how that affects the other teenagers. And I think we have missed the boat thinking about it with adults. So I think we have to think about how, what language are we using? Are we glamorizing the idea that their lives were so challenging that this was their only way out? Are we sharing information that doesn't need to be shared? Case in point, the, the discussion of what Kate might have said to her daughter. And, mm -hmm. 
That's not information we all need to be sharing. And I think in the media we need to share, how do you access help? What are the resources for them? Because you have a platform to do that. And really quick, we, we know there aren't always warning signs, but right. what are the clear cut warning signs for depression? And so suicide? increase in depression, you know, just in depression and sadness, change in behavior. Maybe there is some giving away of personal belongings, saying goodbye, or just flat out talk about death. Take all of that seriously and don't be afraid to ask if they're thinking about suicide. You're not giving them the idea if it's already there. Mm, Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, thank you for having what is a tough conversation yeah. this morning. And we, a reminder, if you or someone that you know needs help, we encourage you to please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. It's on the bottom of our screen. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.